Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today I want to shed light on something that's one part charitable cause and one part opportunity to win quite possibly the most beautiful reel ever made in the history of reels, the Z-Bass Dream Reel. Now, before we go ahead and get started, I just want to point out that since this is for such a noble cause, if anybody out there wants to take this video and post it on their YouTube channel, you can reach out to me for the file footage, or I give you permission to download it and post it on your channel. And it's with that said, I challenge Elias V from Elias V Fishing and Roger from Cooking and Fishing to repost this. Our goal here is to bring as much attention as possible to what Fishing for Life is doing and little Owen and his family. So let's go ahead and kick this off with what exactly you have the chance to win. Now, for those of you out there not familiar with the Z-Bass brand, they are an American manufacturer of high-end spinning reels designed specifically to take as much punishment as you can dish. You can essentially fish this reel underwater in the sand and rocks. Doesn't matter, you can use it as a hammer and it won't break a sweat. Now, what exactly is this reel? What makes it special and how does it involve you? Well, for starters, it's a Z-Bass 25 that comes with a spare, larger capacity, 27 size spool. The entire reel's frame, body, rotor, side plate, and spool are all machined out of aluminum and it's fully anodized. And depending on what spool you're using, you can expect between 35 and 40 pounds of buttery smooth drag. In addition to that, if you look at the drag knob, anybody familiar with the generation one, generation two, generation 2.5, the drag knob on this reel looks very similar to the original Gen 1, which was virtually bulletproof, and it looks to be a titanium lip all the way around. And lastly, for you guys out there not familiar with how Z-Bass reels work, if you take a look at that gold-colored knurled knob with the embossed Z on it, that is how you get inside the gearbox. I always recommend using your belt and not using any tools. That way you can tighten it down super tight and you can loosen it up without marring the finish. The belt gives you a good grip if you wrap it around the knurlings of the knob. And once you're inside, you can inspect the stainless steel gearing. That way, if you're dunking the reel, if you're really beating on it, you can inspect to make sure your seals are holding up. If you see any signs of water intrusion, you know you're in need of service, you know you have to replace a few seals. It is truly a brilliant design. One thing that I truly loved about the Z-Bass reels is that they were easy to get inside and inspect and easy to maintain, which is, again, very important to the surf caster. Now, with all that being said, it's what makes this reel special that requires your charitable efforts. And if you look here, meet the Hannah checks. So you have Jay and Karen, their beautiful baby boy, Owen, who is not even two years old and already in the fight for his life. And it's now 2018. We've seen this story come up time and time again. And whenever I see something like this, I always find it's important to remember that this family here, they're not just a picture that came with the frame. They are real people going through a real struggle. And with that being said, the way Z-Bass has set up this, I guess it's not even really a fund. Uh, it's very interesting. Normally when you see stuff like this, you have to log into a GoFundMe and the people don't get the money until they reach $10,000, $20,000. The way this works is if you look here, this is the same PayPal link that I put on my videos that if you want to make a financial contribution, you just click on it. It takes you to this page here. I'm going to put in 10 bucks. I'd put in more, but I really can't afford much right now. 10 bucks, log in, next. And I had a PayPal balance, sure. I'm gonna X that out so you can't see my bank information. And then done. I sent $10 to John. Now what happens is, if you have PayPal, if you've ever experienced this and somebody send you funds, you get an email notification saying, hey, you got money. That's exactly how this works. It goes directly to them. It's virtually instantly accessible. The only thing it would take is maybe a day to have it transferred to their bank account. So every time somebody makes a contribution, it goes directly through them and it doesn't get filtered through 12 different layers. And after you put in 10 bucks, they end up getting two. Now it's at this point, I need to ask every single one of you out there who are still with me for a huge favor. My goal is to put this video in front of as many people as humanly possible who may be willing to lend this family a helping hand. Now, in order to do so, I need your help to trigger the YouTube algorithm to promote the bejesus out of this video. And the beauty of it is, it's so simple. If you're already here, all you have to do if you're not already is log into your YouTube account, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, add it to a playlist, 
and share it on your Facebook, Instagram, however you can. Get this video out in front of as many people as humanly possible. And the more interactions and engagements this video gets earlier on, the more the algorithm will push this snowball downhill, getting it in front of that many more people that much faster. And it's with all that being said, I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for every second of every minute spent here. I fully appreciate how valuable everybody's time is. And the last thing I ever want to do is waste any of it because without you, I wouldn't exist on this platform. And without you, I wouldn't have the reach and voice that I currently have. Until next time, everyone, tight lines, and I'll see you soon.